What's going on my trainer club? Today we are going to look at my complete XP guide to get you from zero all the way to level 40 as quick as possible in Pokemon Go. So welcome to the trainer club, here we go! Welcome back everybody, let me know in the comments below where are you at with your level? Are you a newer player that is ranking up or are you a veteran player that is already well above level 40? Because to me, that was probably one of my most fun times. It's just like grinding and learning how and the tricks of what's gonna take you from level one all the way until level 40 the quickest because for me I'm kind of competitive so when I was like okay you can get to level 40 I was like oh let's do this really quick so I figured today let's do something fun it is my birthday so I appreciate everybody out there that is doing the birthday wishes and so the one thing you guys have to understand is that level 40 is kind of just like a vanity level I know that sometimes when they roll out new features it's to level 40s first but to have full functionality of the game purpose wise level 38 is going to get you everything you possibly need in the game to be able to get. Your Pokemon literally max out. Once you hit level 38 and you power your guys all the way up to max, it cannot go higher than it does with level 38. So you have to take that into account and realize, am I just shooting to get to level 40 just to say I'm a level 40? Or do I just want the functionality purposes of being level 40, which then you would get at level 38? So take that into account and understand what you're actually after right now before we get into this because I'm going to give you two different scenarios. And then number two is that I know level 40 is like the top level obviously, right? And so from level 39 into level 40, it's going to be 5 million XP just from that one level. The total amount of XP you need to go from level one all the way to level 40 is gonna be 20 million XP. So 25% of that is going to be one level at the very end. So technically, halfway through the game, we're gonna be a little bit into level 37. Because once you hit level 37, you're gonna be at 9.5 million XP out of the total 20 million. So after you do 500,000 XP in that level 37, you are halfway through the game at level 37. The rest is going to be whatever it took you to get to level 37 plus 500,000 XP is going to take you the exact same time to go from that level all the way until level 40, which is absolutely crazy and I don't think people quite understand that. To get from level one all the way until 30, it's gonna be two million total XP points, which is really not that much. At level 34, it starts to get pretty significant when we start looking at one million XP per level rank up, which is then going to exponentially increase as we get there. From 36 to 37, it's gonna be two million. From 37 to 38, it's gonna be 2.5 million. From 38 to 39, it's gonna be three million. And then 39 to 40, it's going to be five million. So just those end levels are gonna be a majority of the bulk of your gameplay trying to get the XP points. Before we get into breaking down my strategies, the first thing I want you guys to get familiar with is putting your Pokemon in gyms. So every single day, if you go for eight hours and your Pokemon gets knocked out, and it can be from the night before, you could literally put it at 6 p.m. the night before, and then if it goes all the way until 2 a.m. and gets knocked out at 2 a.m. the next day, you're gonna get 50 coins. You need to get 50 coins per day if you don't plan on spending money on this game because if you add up all of these coins over the entire span that we're gonna talk about here in a moment, you're going to have 4,500 coins, which is gonna equal a total of 72 lucky eggs. And lucky eggs are going to double the amount of XP that you get. So you're gonna get 11 free ones over the course of ranking up, but then you get 72 if you're strictly looking at leveling up the fastest. So those 50 coins per day are absolutely crucial. Another thing you can do if you're in a competitive area, you can do multiple gyms because the max you can get is 50. So if you did like 15 hours of Pokemon defending getting kicked out in one day, you're only gonna get all the way up to 50 coins and each Pokemon, depending on how long it's been in there, is going to give you that allotted coin. So you can get like 25, 26, 27 coins and then get the rest remaining 33 coins from a different Pokemon coming from a different gym. So just get the 50 coins per day if you don't plan on spending money and that's what I'm going to be basing this rank up on free to play players to get you there. Obviously, if you pay for coins, you buy raid passes, you buy lucky eggs, you can get there a whole lot faster, but this is just gonna be the benchmark and if you wanna get there faster, you can do so. Next, I want you guys to understand a little bit about what the XP is. So for catching a new Pokemon, you're gonna get 500 XP. And for doing a curveball, making a nice, 
great or excellent throw, you're gonna increase your XP. For catching it on the first ball, you're gonna increase your XP. So the combination of this every single time is gonna be super important. And the next thing we're gonna do is stop spins. So spinning a new stop that you have not spun before is gonna give you 250 XP. Evolving a Pokemon is gonna give you 500 XP and hatching a 10 kilometer egg is going to give you 1,000 XP. And I think the dailies are super impactful over the entire gameplay that we're going after. 500 XP per first day stop spin. So one through six days, you're gonna get 500 for the spin and for the first catch. And then on the seventh day streak, you're gonna get 2,500 and 2,500 spin and catch. So that's a total of 5,000 XP, which we're gonna exploit and really take advantage of in a second. And then it comes down to raiding. And I'm only gonna point out tier five raids. Obviously you guys could see over here that there's more XP to get, but I would focus mainly if you're trying to go up to level 40 the fastest tier five raids because you get the most amount of XP by at least double of 10,000 XP without any lucky eggs or anything like that. And then finally, we have the rank up friends bonus, which is going to take up the bulk of your XP right now. For a great friend, you're gonna get 10,000 XP. Don't shake that off, we're gonna talk about it. From an ultra friend, you're gonna get 50,000 XP, and from a best friend, you're gonna get 100,000 XP before you boost it. So now we're gonna get into my strategy of how to hit level 40 the fastest in Pokemon Go with the littlest amount of effort, right? It's just gonna be very condensed, and I want you guys to understand two more things before we get into it. Number one, you have to compound everything. And what I mean by compound everything, you have to take like evolutions, raids, best friend bonuses, ultra friend bonuses, great friend bonuses, and combine them into one time frame of a 30 minute lucky egg and try to maximize and squeeze out the most amount of XP you could possibly squeeze out in a 30 minute period, which I will tell you what that looks like. And number two, getting XP is just one thing. The actual main focus of the game comes from Stardust. So getting to level 40 is one thing, you could do it fast, but then if you haven't caught a lot of Pokemon and when you get to level 40, you're gonna have a problem because your Pokemon automatically don't get to level 40. You have to power your Pokemon up, which is where the Stardust comes and you get Stardust from catching Pokemon. And that's the main place that you're gonna get a lot of Stardust from. So you want to catch more Pokemon. That's why I would suggest if it was me and I was doing it all over again, I would probably power through until level 38. And then I would just take my time catching as many Pokemon as I possibly can as I get to 40 and I would change my gameplay at that point to be a little bit more focused on the Stardust increase than I would be on the XP increase. But it's up to you guys, you wanna do whatever you have. I'm gonna have both strategies which we're gonna get into right now. Now we're gonna take out the most impactful XP gains that we had and we're gonna show them in a sequential order to show first one, how to get to level 38, to be able to power your guys up to level 40, and then we're gonna go on to the level 40. So you get one free raid pass per day, which you're going to have to go in with parties of other people because you're not gonna be strong enough to beat these Pokemon, and you're going to get 10,000 XP for beating a tier five. So over the 90 day period, which is what we're gonna do, how to get to zero to level 40 in 90 days, you're gonna get 900,000 XP. And the second thing you need to do is you need to go after friends. So you need to get friends, consistent friends. I suggest that you guys get into my Discord. I'm gonna pin it in the comments below. And you're going to need to make very consistent friends because you want to combine everything you're going to need to lucky egg and rank up with these friends at the same time. So in order to coordinate this, you need a place to coordinate, which is where you can get it in my Discord. So 30 friends going from great to ultra to best friends, which is a 90 day period, which is why this is gonna be my grace period for you guys, is going to be 30 friends, 20,000 XP for using a lucky egg when you rank up, which is gonna be very coordinated. You need to chat with these people. Is going to be 600,000 XP. When you go from great friends to ultra friends, typically you get 50,000. When you lucky egg and you have 30, you're now gonna get three million XP. Now you can see how powerful the friendship bonuses are. And then when you go from ultra friends to best friends, you're normally going to get 100,000 XP. However, if you use a lucky egg, it's gonna be 200,000 XP, which for 30 friends is going to be 6 million XP. For a grand total of XP under this time frame, which is gonna be 9 million, 600,000 XP. Oh my gosh, guys, like I would have killed for that back in the day, that's amazing. And then you're going to get 2,500 for a spin and you're gonna get 2,500 for a catch. And if you're on a lucky egg, you're gonna make that 5,000. So over this 90 day period, on a lucky egg, you're gonna get 120,000 for these two things combined. However, I would make sure that your first spin and first catch for the seven day streak is going to end on a Monday. 
meaning you're gonna have to start your streaks or skip a day if it's not timed up, which means your streak needs to start on Tuesday. And the reason being is because on Monday, you get your Adventure Sync bonus, which means you're going to be able to get some Stardust bonuses. So I want to make sure that you guys have this set up so that every Monday you're hitting your seventh day streak. So when you get into star pieces and you're starting to stack up on Stardust, you can combine these streaks with some raids, with some star pieces, and you can get a lot of Stardust as well. And if you use my Adventure Sync stocking trick, which you guys want to check that out up here, you can then hatch your eggs during that star piece as well, and you can maximize a 30 minute window with a lot of XP and a lot of Stardust, which is more of the functionality of the gameplay. Next, you are going to be getting 610 if you guys know how to throw a curveball with a great throw, and it's a first encounter on your Pokemon. So you guys are going to be encountering a lot of Pokemon pretty rapidly. So you're going to want to learn how to throw a curveball very early in the game so that you guys know and get this down so you're not trying to undo a different habit later in the game. It helps with your catch chances and it helps you get more XP overall. So definitely do that and so this is just from encountering new Pokemon over 90 days I'm projecting and you probably will encounter a little bit more than this about 200 Pokemon just from catching in the wild I would think that you can encounter for a grand total of 122,000 XP and then spin that new stop you're gonna get that 250 XP if it's done on a lucky egg, it's gonna be 500. So I'm projecting that over 90 days, 500, that's really low, guys. If you went to a city and you just kind of walked around like pretty rapidly and you spun stops, you could probably spin a lot more than this in a 90 day period, especially in a very condensed downtown area. But I'm projecting that you're gonna do 500, 500 for 250,000 XP. And then when you evolve a Pokemon, you get 500 points, which is gonna come into play. And every time you do 30 Pokemon, you're gonna get 15,000 XP. And then hatching an egg, you're gonna get 1,000 XP, and I'm gonna say you're gonna do 20, you could do more for about 20,000 XP. You will be at level 38 and a half for a grand total of 11 million 28,500 XP points, which is gonna put you at the maximum level to be able to power up all your guys. And I know a lot of you guys are like, I wanna to get to level 40. So you have to stay on top of the friends bonus, number one priority. Make sure to get on top of it, make sure to communicate with those people, and make sure to always condense them all and be in control. Just be like, hey, I'm trying to get to level 40. Do you guys want to level up with eggs? And a lot of people don't worry about the great friends, but for you as a new player or for somebody trying to get XP, you have to worry about the great friends because doing it in Mass quantity, you saw 600,000 XP from those 30 great friends. So you want to do that and you have to be consistent because you can open 20 gifts a day, but then those additional 10 people have to open it. So if they're gonna open it earlier in the day, you're gonna have to wait open your game later in the day and then immediately go into items when you're ready to pop those 20 gifts to hit the friendship bonus increase put your lucky egg on and then minimize it and then all of their friendship XP would come through and then you can go through and start opening yours to combine it up, right? Because you wanna hit everything you possibly can on a lucky egg. So here's the ultimate strategy that you're gonna do every other day with free raid passes. You're gonna skip a day of raiding and save your pass for the next day, which is gonna mean you're gonna have one free pass and then once you use that pass and get another free pass. So the strategy is going to be, if you don't spend any money, if you're spending money, this is gonna be a whole lot easier and you can just power through this a lot faster because you're gonna wanna find two five-star raids that are relatively close that have hatched that you can do at the same time with your group because you need a group. Then you're gonna hit any friendship bonuses, which I would prefer happens all at the same time. Then if you use my Adventure Sync hatching trick, you can go in and hatch some of your eggs for additional XP. You're gonna complete your raid for 20,000 XP tier five. And I would suggest evolving as many Pokemon as you possibly can. Don't worry about the Pokemon at this point. The key here is not stacking up on Pokemon candy unless it's rare Pokemon. The things that you want to evolve as much as possible are new Pokemon that are not impactful and new evolutions are also going to help out. They're not gonna be huge like the friendship is, but it does help out. So if you guys wanna check out the top Pokemon to evolve, what they would be is Pokemon that cost 12 candy to evolve. So you're gonna do your raid. You're gonna start evolving everything you possibly can. I would not suggest evolving really good quality Pokemon yet. 
Like if you have 100% IV, like you can evolve it, but don't take it all the way to the nth degree if it has a, an exclusive move that comes out in community today that will be effective at some point because every December, we're going to be able to get a chance to get those moves back. So you want to save that. So it's very important that you know exactly what you're doing, but you want to evolve as many things as you possibly can. If you're going strictly for XP, don't worry about anything else. Save the rares, like the Beldomes, the Larvitars, don't necessarily blow all the way through those guys but just evolve everything you possibly can. Use your pineapple berries on the Pokemon that count to evolve more, like Caterpie, Weedle, Pidgey, we have Wishmer, anything like that is going to be effective because you can blow through these Pokemon and really make it effective. But something like a Magikarp, if it's taking you so long to get Magikarp candy, like you don't just want to mass evolve it. You want to find one that's impactful and has a good IV. And so after you do the first raid, you're gonna catch any Pokemon in the immediate area. You're going to evolve Pokemon as you go and you're spinning new Pokestops, which would be the most ideal situation if you're in a place that you can spin new Pokestops and you're doing best friend bonuses. So in that 30 minute window, you can turn a lot of XP really fast on a lucky egg. And so if you get the 50 coins per day, you buy the eight lucky eggs in the shop. Every time you have 500 coins, you keep stacking up. You're gonna get 11 additional eggs from ranking up during the whole entire time for a grand total of 83 eggs which means you can do this quite a lot right like you can really make this happen guys and even if you don't need that many eggs you can buy a little bit of raid passes or even buy like one of the boxes and have eggs as well and so if you guys are optimally trying to get to level 40 in 90 days which is totally possible because i'm not including a lot of the other xp incidentals that you'll be getting along the way just for playing consistently and playing a lot, right? Like spinning stops, you get it. Catching Pokemon, you get it. Like you constantly are getting XP, but you need big XP numbers. So if you wanna get all the way, you're gonna need 57 friends to go from nothing friendship wise all the way till best friends to be able to do it in 90 days because it's going to give you 18 million XP points, which is humongous. And then I calculated that, let's say you did 45 raids, on just 10,000 for 450,000 XP, but then you also Lucky A did, did the strategy that I was talking about, and you did more on that, which is gonna be 20,000, which would mean you have 900,000 XP from just raids, which would be a grand total of 1,350,000 from your raids. And that could even speed up faster because all of the other incidentals like I just talked about, like catching Pokemon, evolving more Pokemon, doing more Pokestop spins, everything counts. Curveballs, hitting excellent throws, hitting great throws, like it all adds up so incredibly fast and it's gonna help you go all the way there. So you're gonna have over 20 million XP points if you do 57 friends all the way there. And I know it's probably not gonna go as precise as I'm talking about here, but Number one thing you wanna do is maximize your efficiency. Take that 30 minute lucky egg and squeeze out as much XP, which includes doing raids, saving your passes, and going with the two free passes for the day, evolving Pokemon when there's no Pokemon to catch, catching Pokemon, learning how to spin your ball so you can get curveball throws and trying to hit great throws to get more XP, hatching eggs with the Adventure Sync hatching trick. I know it's a lot, guys, it seems overwhelming, but you can make it happen. So let's take you from level one all the way to level 40 in 90 days or less. And remember, Stardust is king, so the more Pokemon you can catch, you don't necessarily need lucky eggs, but the more Pokemon you catch, the more Stardust you get, and the more fun you're gonna have once you reach level 38 to be able to power your guys up to 40 and then you'll get to level 42. So I appreciate you guys for being here. All my likers, commenters, subscribers, and Patreon members for taking your subscriptions to the next level. I'm gonna see you out on the next video. Peace! I just wanna take a moment and sincerely thank all of my Patreon members, everybody that has taken their subscription to the next level and chosen to support me on this platform. I greatly appreciate you guys as a growing channel and really trying to grow and improve as much as I possibly can. I really appreciate the extra support. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I cannot wait to connect with you soon and I appreciate you guys all for being a part of the Trainer Club. I will see you guys out on the next video.